Hey guys, it's Leela. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be doing a battle of the mascaras. But before we get started, I wanted to share something with you guys. So I have been working on not only growing on YouTube, but also on my Instagram. And I found this amazing course created by That Camera Girl. She has over 30,000 followers on Instagram. So her company and I got in touch. So today's video is sponsored by Boss Social. I do have a special message from Emily, the creator of Boss Social. Here it is. You want to grow your Instagram from 1,000 followers to over 30,000 followers in less than a year. Well, I did it. I've accumulated all of the techniques I use to grow my Instagram into one course and you can order it now. Just click the link. I hope to see you as a future student. So you heard her guys, her course is gonna teach you how to start making serious money on Instagram while also growing quickly. I definitely am gonna be using her methods to grow my Instagram. So if you guys were interested, check out the link below to get in touch with the course website. I do have a special perk for all of you. If you use my code Miss Lila Z, you can get 30% off of the course. So thanks to Boss Social for sponsoring today's video. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So I recently picked up the new Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara. So this is supposed to be like Too Faced's new like go-to mascara. So we're gonna test this against the OG Holy Grail, winner of them all, takes the cake, number one best-selling mascara in the United States, Too Faced Better Than Sex. So I figured why not test the two and see what the difference is. So Too Faced Better Than Sex has been my go-to mascara for years. Like this stuff is the bomb. Like I love the way this makes my eyelashes look. It's so natural. It makes them look so like fan flutter and pretty. And that's always what I want if I'm not wearing falsies. Like I love to just do a very nice, you know, fluttery lash. And it also really defines my lower lashes beautifully, so I love this mascara. So today I figured I would put it to this one to the test in comparison to my OG Holy Grail. So I'm actually already put it on and wearing this side is the Better Than Sex, this side is the Damn Girl. I did swatch them both, I did put them on, I filmed me putting it on, so I will insert the clips next. So. Please enjoy me putting on two different mascaras. <laughs> I'm gonna do my bottom lashes. I'll be right back. Okay, so this is one coat of Better Than Sex. I am gonna go on the other one, let this one dry down a little bit, and then I will add a second coat. But now we're going to be going in with the Damn Girl Mascara. Is it bad that I don't see a difference? <laughs> okay, let me try putting on one more coat of each and see if... I spot a difference. I mean, I really can't tell a difference. Maybe I have to like wear them, um, like for a little bit but like I honestly, I honestly don't see a difference that's so weird so I basically was trying to look on the website to see like what the difference is between the two mascaras and like why this one is supposed to be like so much better um so what 
I have come to the conclusion of is that one this is one dollar more so this one retails for $25 whereas the better than sex retails for 24 but this one actually was 25 because I got the little limited edition bottle <laughs> but um, this one also claims to be a 24-hour mascara, so it's supposed to stay on all day and all night And then from what I understand They did make it with like specific waxes and polymers that are supposed to keep your lashes curled Lock them in and it's not supposed to flake and it is supposed to keep everything like flawless basically so another thing that I noticed with this new mascara is the wand so the wand looks like this it's huge like really really big it is that hourglass shape still but it is humongous like this this thing is huge so we'll look at the better than sex one and I can show you guys what it looks like this is better than sex. So it's really small, it's a little skinnier, not as full and voluptuous, but um, this one isn't waterproof or 24 hour wear or long lasting. So, I mean, if this one is supposed to like hold the girls in and make it like flawless, like why not? If they can make something better, why wouldn't they? The other thing that is unique about this mascara is that they already pumped the air into it. So when I bought it at Sephora, the guy told me, he's like, do not pump air into it. Like it's already like, it's already pumped. Like they already did it for you. Like they did everything. So they injected air into this tube. So that way you didn't have to um pump the mascara like you would for like a new one that you get so that's another really cool thing um and then they do have all these claims like on the package 97 percent said they saw full-on volume 100 percent said they saw intense black lashes 99 percent said they saw long wearing results like they they just keep going on and on and on about it um, even in the picture, that girl has like little stubby lashes and after she's like a goddess, like look at that. And then the infinity brush is the other big thing, like that big fat brush. So I have been staring at them both of my eyes for the last like 10 or 20 minutes trying to figure out what the difference between the two of them is. And honestly, the only real difference I feel like is that this one is a little bit just a smidge darker thicker more volume like that's it like more toward, towards the base like these lashes look thicker whereas this one it is still that really natural defined like i don't know i still think i like the better than sex better just because of the fact that it looks more natural this looks like a really really bold lash even like my lower lashes look darker than this side but I mean they're both really nice I feel like this is really good for like a super super like you know night out like dark sultry look where this could be good for like everyday light makeup um but I mean I I'm not mad at either one I still think I would probably use better than sex a little more just because of the fact that it looks more natural but I mean, it's not a bad mascara. This one's not too bad. Okay, guys. So, I don't know. My final thoughts. I really do like both mascaras. I really... They do do a couple different things. But, like, it's not so drastic that I would be like, you have to get this new mascara. It is the best thing that hit the market. Like, and it is a dollar extra. So, I mean, you could save a coin or two by just getting the OG Holy Grail better than sex. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. Thanks so much again to Boss Social for sponsoring today's video. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel, hit the little bell, you'll get a notification every time I post a new video. I do love to review makeup on this channel, so hopefully I'll pick up some new stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!